obviously because we are three months in. Three months in. And progress. This is fresh from waking up. Because we well, how I have a new accessory. My lashes. So eventually I'm going to show you guys also how I take care. Please, please, please. Because I was really into them three years ago and um had them on for literally three years and then I took a break for three years. And I'm back. Because my face is getting so much better. I'm eliminating using mascara. And mascara was one of my biggest things because it would leave all of this dark. Look at my dark circles. They're getting so much better. I'm still doing the coffee scrub, which is very sensitive. So you have to on your fingers, put it underneath. But look how much better that's getting. Also, had I been wearing mascara yesterday, all of this would have been dark. Because even when you wash your face, you have residue there. And that's what I was eliminating. I want to be able to go to the beach, go everywhere, and not have to look at my face at all. Like, I'm literally going to put on chapstick, lip gloss, or literally lipstick, and I'm out. <clears throat> I do not use any cover-up, and now I don't have any reason to use cover-up anymore. I was using cover-up for eight months, never in my life, to try to cover up these suckers. But, happy to report three months later, I'm going to show you how my hyperpigmentation is getting better. See, this one had, we never had this little stupid-ass pimple that came last week. We had this little baby from yesterday that like literally came and dried out. But anyways, had I never had this fucking cystic pimple that came out of nowhere last week, I did not mess with it. I did not encourage it, because she was not welcome. So, um, had I never had this, but like, my face would have been clear, right? Y'all would have been like, oh shit, Kathy, you're done. I'm not done. Now we're back on this. But the good thing is that we have figured out my skincare routine. And I'm hoping that my skincare routine, you guys can pick out little bits and pieces here and there to help you guys improve your healthcare routine. And uh, I'm always going to reiterate this. We all have different skins. There's no, there's a reason for combination skin, oily skin, dry skin, blah, blah, blah. I had to figure out my skin. And actually my skin changes because I went from having dry skin to having oily skin to having basically combination skin. My T-zone gets a little oily. Things like that. Some products that you use sometimes enhance that. So work with products and see what helps your skin regulate. I guess it's the best word. We want it to regulate. We want it to be balanced. And, bro, when I tell you guys that my skin texture is so soft. Like, I try to go like this because before you used to see all the bumps. No bumps. Not even this one, look. Sorry for getting so close. But yeah guys, so three months in, you guys know what I've been using. I'll show you how down to the fucking bone my papaya soap is. I have my backups, don't worry about me, I got it. But, <clears throat> you see this? This? Three months. For three months. And sometimes I use this twice. My Seamal soap, it's my nighttime routine now. Helps with acne. This one I've been using for about a month and a half. Look how much of the bar is still there. It's just your face guys, how much of your fucking face do you need? a 750 fucking bar of soap that's gonna give you magic i mean i don't know what to tell you and no no i am not sponsored by her i've been asked plenty of times do you work with these companies guys i do not work with anyone i have to say unique i love her um she created my um user what do you call it the promo code so always feel free to use it it's my username kk's keeper and you'll get some type of percentage off whatever she has going on she has a 30 percent you might get a 30 percent 15 10 who knows but definitely use it if you're gonna go ahead and purchase something right who doesn't like this kind of one anyway so those have been my washes when I like to get um, buck wild, I introduce, I'm lying, I'm not, I don't get buck wild. Um, I do introduce now a Saturday routine, which is um, a cleanser, a vitamin C cleanser from Tree of Life, which I love. Tree of Life, you guys know, I talk about the vitamin C all the time. Vitamin C serum, it's not an oil, it's a serum. It will have your skin glowing, like two weeks in, like, don't tell me no, just try it. Just try it. Or you have to be like, oh, Kathy, your skin is glowing. What are you doing? Wash my face and put it on vitamin C. That's it. So. The only other two things I've incorporated, and we call it the cheat day. And I call it a cheat day because I'm not trying to incorporate too many new things into my skin routine. If you have something that works, don't mess with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's my fucking model. Don't fix it. Leave it alone. So, I started doing this on Saturdays to, you know, like when you're on a diet, right? And on cheat day, you're like, I can have some ice cream. Ice cream for my face. Ice cream for my face. This is an exfoliating facial scrub. And it's like sand and it's like, like wobbly. So cool. You only need a little bit. And it leaves your face so smooth after. Um, it smells really good. And then we have the vitamin C cleanser. Like, if I love the vitamin C serum, I wouldn't have the cleanser. I love the cleanser. It doesn't leave my face oily. Nothing like that. Love it. But I use it as a treat for my face. Ice cream treat. So this is it. Um, other than that, you guys know my moisturizer. Vitamin C serum. I do not like to yeah. H acid, I stopped using. The retinol, I stopped using. Um, you can use the retinol at night. Use it at night, don't use it in the morning. Vitamin C, always use it in the morning. I use my vitamin C morning and night. Period. Like, this is just what I do. Um, I've shared my moisturizer with you guys plenty. 
this is it. My girl Deanna put me up on it and I will forever be thankful, babe. Thanks. And everybody needs a toner. So many people wash their face and don't do toners. I didn't do toners for so long or I would do them wrong. You need a toner. You wash your face, you tone your face, you moisturize your face, you seal your face. You clean and clear your face. Sorry, the little bottle wanted to make a, <clears throat> a feature. So guys, I'm sorry I ramble a little bit. I did have a very dark cup of coffee. I have not washed my face, so you haven't seen it glowed up. But this is my face when I wake up, so I'm not mad. Like, just put a sucker right here. It's about to dry up. So, that is face with that. Psych. Um, <clears throat> I'll just finish it. Okay. Another thing I forgot to say, and I'll bring her in real quick. This is my favorite thing in the world. Again, Deanna, my girl, she put me up on this. And when I tell y'all, I use this every day to clean my face day and night. And now it's gonna even come more in handy because my lashes and you can soak them. And I'm fine with that because I'm not gonna be wearing any eye makeup, but it's gonna come in clutch to clean. Why do you use a sponge? Exfoliate. Exfoliating is so good. You wanna get rid of that first layer of skin. You want to get rid of that excessive old skin. The skin cells are gonna pop off. Your new skin is gonna pop through. If you're doing vitamin C, that new skin is gonna pop through with some goddamn glow. And you're gonna love it. And I'm sorry that you're using any of it. I also use the body one. Did I go on her thing? This is Miss Jackson's line. Did I go on her thing? That body exfoliator thing? It's amazing. So I have some rough spots and my skin is so smooth. Alright. That's that guys. Um, I will come back. I will show you guys other things and stuff. I'm actually waiting to receive this new thing. Um, I'm going to try for my face to finish. Um, evening on my skin tone and all of that. So I will be sharing.